There are two universal truths about rebound relationships. One, it's an avoidance of pain. If your ex is rebounding, they are taking emotional painkillers to avoid their inner pain and the pain of breaking up with you. Two, most rebounds do fail within their first year, but there may be a third universal truth, and that is, will the ex ever come back? And I'm going to explore that with you today, along with a few other things. First part of this video is gonna be explaining rebounds and what happens when that actually happens, if that makes sense. And then we'll get into what are the chances of an ex actually reaching out or coming back. But before I do that, welcome back to The Love Fix. It's Nick, doing my best to get you through your breakups as easily and as healthily as possible. Guys, if you want to work with me in any way, shape or form, look in the description below. There are multiple links there. There is my link to my one-to-one -one coaching sessions to get you through your breakups. There is a link to my Facebook support group that has over 20,000 people in there. And there's also my podcast on Spotify that goes deeper into these subjects. So YouTube is just a snapshot and the podcast is a real deep dive exploring breakups, exes, better relationships, all that kind of thing. Go and check out the latest episode. I just interviewed my first guest and it's all about toxic breakups, how to recover, childhood trauma, all that good stuff. Really good episode, guys. Highly recommend it. Of course I'm gonna recommend it, it's my stuff. But anyway, let's get into today's subject about rebounds and is the ex gonna come back? What is a rebound relationship? I think the first thing we need to clear up here is people think rebounding is a measure of time. And that's not really the case. A rebound is more a measure of emotion, where that person is emotionally. So in theory, you could be single for 10 years and if you haven't dealt with the pain of the previous breakup and you haven't got over it and then you get into a new relationship, that is technically a rebound. So where is your ex emotionally? Now, when they do rebound, especially if they rebound quickly, I would argue they've not dealt with the pain of your breakup. They haven't dealt with the breakdown of your relationship because here's the thing, guys, People don't just wake up and think it's a good idea to break up and, and leave. This has been happening over time, especially if they've been with you for a year, two years, five years, 10, whatever. People don't stick around for that amount of time for the fun of it or for, for the sake of it. They stick around because they're invested. They stick around because they want to, because they enjoy the relationship with you. And when that breaks down, when their plans for the future go away because it's not working with you anymore, that is heartbreaking. It threatens their emotional survival and that is all they're trying to do is to protect their emotional survival. So they typically find the closest thing or the easiest thing they can get hold of to secure that emotional survival. And this typically is in the shape or form of someone that is a friend, might even be a friend of yours, which is a dick move. It could be a work colleague. It could be someone that they know from years ago or knew from years ago that always wanted to get with them, but your ex didn't want to get with them and they can just easily go to that person because it's some low hanging fruit. And that's essentially a rebound, really. It's your ex trying to secure their emotional survival and soothing the pain of a breakup or soothing the pain of being alone with an emotional painkiller, i.e. the target of the rebound. So they are walking away from the pain when they should be walking into the pain. Walking into the pain would be either staying single or trying to fix the relationship. And most people just get that wrong. We cannot hide from pain. We should not hide from pain. The magic source is in the pain. Pain is not our enemy. Pain is there to teach us. Pain is there to guide us. Pain is there to actually keep us safe. That is what pain's job is. So we must treat it as an ally. So what are the chances of exes reaching out when they're in rebound or coming back? I would say it's pretty good. It's sort of around maybe the 60% mark. Now, I don't have any hard facts to back that up. I'm just basing that on observation that I've seen through this channel, through my Facebook group, through my one-to-one -one clients and various other sources. So I don't want you to sit there and cling to that number because it's just gonna give you false hope and it's gonna drive you crazy. What this is, this is an, uh, uh, an examination 
of the truth behind what an ex is doing in a rebound relationship. Now, a lot of the time they do reach out, a lot of the time they feel guilty, a lot of the time they may just be seeing how you are. They spent a lot of time with you, maybe they still care about you in some capacity. Now, typically speaking, a reach out doesn't always mean they want to get back with you or they want to do anything. They're just they just reaching out. They may be keeping you as a backup option. That may be a possibility. Have people reconciled after one of them has rebounded? Yes. But sadly, reconciliations have a spectacularly high failure rate because most people resurrect the last relationship, they repeat the same mistakes and the same shit happens. So you have to be very, very careful. But let's assume they do reach out. Let's assume they want a reconciliation. Let's assume their rebound has failed. What do you do? How do you react? I think a better question must be, can you actually take them back knowing that they jumped ship so easily when they could have worked on things with you when they could have walked into the pain with you now here's the thing my friends if your ex is coming back after a rebound you are not even plan b anymore you went from plan a the rebound was plan b you are now plan c you are now third on that list and Let's say it's only been a couple of months. Let's say your ex rebounded within days, weeks, or even a month or two after breaking up with you. They've literally jumped into bed with someone new when your bed wasn't even cold. They've jumped into bed with someone new because they couldn't deal with their pain. So they outsourced it to the new person. And now that new person hasn't lived up to their expectations. And now they're gonna be outsourcing the pain from your breakup, the pain from the rebound breakup, all back onto you. And we expect that reconciliation to work. This is an exercise in futility. So my friends, I know you want your exes back bad. I get it and I've been there. And trust me guys, I've, I've suffered for 18 months trying to figure this out, trying to move on and all that kind of thing. And this was back in 2020 and you know, went through right through to 2022 before I was like, okay, I need to unfuck myself and do something different here. I get it. I know what it's like to sit there day after day thinking, okay, they're gonna reach out, they're gonna reach out, they're gonna reach out. If I just do no contact one more day, if I keep doing this, they're gonna reach out. I get it. It's a nasty feeling. And I know that you just want them back, but you have to ask yourself, if after a rebound, can you really, really take them back? Because they will go through a journey. They will go through stages of a rebound. And if you haven't seen my video on the five stages of a rebound for the dumper, go and check it out. It's in the playlist, I think it's called Dealing with Rebounds or something like that. But nonetheless, it's the most viewed video on my channel. So if you just sort the, uh, the search by the, the most popular, it'll be the first one. And it's like five stages uh, of a rebound for the... For the dump for the dumper which goes into way more detail about the stages than this video will and after that journey is over they will repeat the same mistake they will rebound back to you they are essentially rebounding the rebound and that is never going to work my friend and you should not allow yourself to be in such a diminished position with your ex you used to be number one in their list and now they've demoted you to number three that is not okay. Your ex employed the rebound and now re-employing you to give themselves something that they was never able to give themselves. So we must ask, we must ask that question. What can't they give to themselves that they need to outsource it to everybody? And this probably goes back to their childhood. Maybe they've got mummy and daddy issues, which is fine, most of us do. We all have baggage from our childhood. So I'm not trying to say bad things about your ex here, but are they dealing with their shits? Because if they're not, trust me my friends, when they do come back to you and they want to reconcile, they're just going to audition you to do it for them. And the same shit will happen. The second you can't live up to their expectations, because how can you? Because they can't fulfill themselves. They can't fulfill their own expectations. They will jump ship the second you disappoint them. And that is not what a healthy looks like. That is not a healthy relationship. And that is not someone we should be investing our time in. So I really want you to think about that if your ex is rebounding, I will say what I said in one of my 
other videos that I did on did on uh, rebounds, and I believe the thumbnail says, "Is your ex in a rebound? Let them burn something along those lines." And I'm gonna say what I said in that video: "Fuck them, let them burn, and let them go down with the ship. If they want to jump ship, fine, because a true healthy relationship." isn't someone that jumps ship it's someone that stays on your ship and helps you sail it through the storm so do not invest someone that jumps off the second it got a little bit choppy because my friends you are worth more than this and you have to tell yourself that you are worth more than this and you're going to invest in yourself not in someone that jumps ship and if you do invest in yourself and you become more attractive and you level up guess what will happen you will attract someone even better than your ex so do not give them the satisfaction. And that's all I've got for today. I hope this has been helpful. And if you've enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. As I said before, if you want to work with me, if you need to feel better, if you want to get through your heartbreak, if you need help with you being rebounded on them, book a coaching session with me. The link is in the description and I will do my best to get you through this with listening, validating, giving you tools, homework assignments, all that kind of thing to get you feeling better. We will do it together. And I promise you guys, I've coached over 500 people one-to-one -one now, and most of them, I'd say like 98% of them, have all, all come back and said, I feel better. They're not saying that I was over it. I feel better, I'm working on myself, I'm becoming better, and I'm dating better, and I'm getting on with things. And always remember, my friend, you are enough but you must believe that and you must do the work to convey that to yourself. And if you convey that to yourself, how you show up in private is how you show up in public. So give yourself what you need and you'll do just fine. I'll see you on the other side.